Hello everyone, we will continue the topic classical reports and in the previous video we took the requirement in which the input is order number and output is details of order number from two tables, one is header table, one is item table. We did step by step and we just took a select option for order number because we want to provide multiple inputs or range of order number based upon the output we created two structure types one for header one for item we declared two internal table and work areas now we will proceed further now we will write the open SQL queries. We will write two open SQL query. One to fetch data from header table, one to fetch data from item table. Now just simple. Firstly, we will always, always fetch data from which table? Header table. We will not directly go to item table because item is totally dependent on what? Header. So firstly, you need to fetch data from where? Header. Then you need to go for item. Because see, item is totally dependent on header. If something is not in header, it is never, never in item. So you should always, always go for which table first? Header table first. So now I will firstly write a query to fetch data from header table. Now, how to write a query? The first word is select. Now, from the header table, we are fetching data of how many column? Four column. So, I'll specify the column. Order number, order date, payment mode, currency. Now, we are fetching from which database table? From. I will pass the name of the database table. Our order header table. This is our order header table. Now, whenever data will come on the application layer, we need to store into internal table. What is the name of first internal table? LT underscore data. So I put into table name of the internal table. Now I will go for where condition. Now what is where condition? O and O. What is the input to this program? Input to the program is order number. So I will write where O and O in S underscore O and O. We discuss so many times Input is always, always on the right hand side. What is your input? Your input is S underscore O N O. This is input for what? Order number. This order number input you will pass to which particular column? O N O of which particular table? Header table. It will fetch that data of four columns. And data will come into which internal table? LT underscore data. So always remember, because this is the simple mistake, especially from the freshers. Remember, yes, input is always, always on the right hand side. Your input is order number. It means whatever the input you are giving, it should go to order number column of the header table. Now, this first query. We have written so many times in the previous program also. We studied that how to write this kind of query. Now, the next most important part and huge learning will be there now. This is the most, most important part now. Now, we need to fetch data from item table, item table. Now, item is what? Item is totally dependent on what? Item has a totally dependency on what header. Now my simple question. Firstly, firstly question. 
I am giving a wrong input to the program. Suppose I am giving order number six. Suppose I am giving order number six to eight. This six to eight will go to which particular table first order header table because what is our first query? The well, first query is for order header table. You gave six to eight. We are executing. Have you seen six to eight is wrong input? If we are giving a wrong input, nothing will come from the order header table. Whenever you will give a wrong input, whenever that wrong input will go to order header table, we will not get anything that we will not get even a single record. Now my question to all of you, the simple, simple understanding. If we are not getting anything from header table, it means we will not get anything from item table that is guaranteed, guaranteed. If six to eight order number is not in the header table, guaranteed it will never, never be in the item table. So there is no need to fetch data from item table at all because you gave a wrong input and the based upon that input, nothing is coming from header table. We are very sure if nothing is coming from header table, how something will come from the item table. It is never, never possible. Yes, if you are giving a right order number, if data is coming from the header table, Yes, after that only it can be in the item table. Suppose I have order number one to five in the header table. It means in the item table, I can have only order number one to five. It is never, never the case that I have a order number six, which is not in the header table, but it is in the item table. It is never, never possible. So data is in the header table, header table. Yes. So it is never the scenario. Something is in item table and it is not in the header table. So now whenever you want to fetch data, whenever you want to fetch data from item table, it is totally, totally dependent on what header, header. if this query, if this query is fail. There is no need to fetch data from item table. If this query is successful, only in that case we need to fetch data from item. If you are getting the data from header, only in that case you need to fetch data from item. If nothing is coming from the header, there is no need to go for the item. There is no need to fetch data from the item. This is the most, most important part because throughout our ABAP, this point will play a vital role. So how I can check that this query is successfully executed or not? You all know very, very well, we have the system variable size sub RC. So I will simply write if psi sub rc equal to zero. I am writing and if. If this query is returning the psi sub rc zero, then only in that case we will fetch data from which table item table. So we will write the second query in between this if and and if. You all know whenever something starts with SY, it means it is a system variable and RC stands for return code. Now, many times rather than using this, people will use other way also to check. Now we will go for a complete understanding because many times Rather than using size sub RC, people will write other way also to check. Now, you gave a right input. Suppose I am giving order number 1, 2, 2. Suppose 1, 2, 3. 
I gave the order number one, two, three. One, two, three will go to which column? Order number of which particular table? Header table. It will fetch data of how many column? Four column and data will come into which internal table? LT data. If you are giving a right input, it is guaranteed that data will come into which internal table? LT underscore data. Because whenever the data will be fetched from the database table, where will we store on the application layer? Will be stored in the internal table. It means whenever you are giving a right input, it is guaranteed that data will be in this LT underscore data internal table. Now, vice versa scenario. You gave a wrong input. Wrong input will check into this particular table for which column order number. Nothing will be come into this internal table. This internal table will be blank at that point of time because you are giving a wrong input. If you are giving a wrong input, no data will be fetched from the database table. If that is not present in the database table, how the data will come into internal table? Nothing will come into internal table. So now we can check the successful result based upon internal table also. So how I can write by other way? I can write in this way also. If internal table is not initial, I will tell the meaning of this and I will write and if. Now what I have written. If this internal table is not initial, what is the meaning of is not initial? Is not initial means is not null, is not empty, is not blank, one and the same thing. And this is the biggest mistake from the freshers. They will always confused between is not initial and is initial. The word I am using is not initial means is not empty, is not null, is not blank. Just think if I am giving a right input. So this internal table data will come. The records will come into this internal table. If records will come into this internal table, it means internal table is not empty, is not blank, is not null as the data is coming into the internal table. Now, if you are giving a wrong input based upon that wrong input, nothing is in the database table. So nothing will come into this internal table. So in that case, your internal table is initial, is initial. Whenever we are writing is initial, is initial means it is, is null, is blank, is empty. Very important point. And what is the meaning of is not initial? Is not initial means is not null, is not blank, is not empty. So what is the meaning of is not initial after the select query? It means this query has successfully processed and data came into this internal table. Now, if data is coming into first internal table, then we are sure that this query process successfully and we can fetch data from item table or you can go by other way also. After this query, you can check for size sub RC condition. If this query is successfully processed, it means it is bringing data. It is fetching data from database table and data is coming into internal table. So you can write size sub RC is equal to zero also after this query. So it means this particular query returned the successful result. But golden rule, Whenever you are fetching data from dependent table, from item table, from foreign key table, 
never never blindly fetch the data always fetch the data based upon the condition you need to write the query in the condition condition yes it is compulsory why we should fetch data if it is not in the header table if it is in the header only in that case we should go for item if it is in the primary table only in that case we should go for the foreign key table now what is the summary of the video in this video we firstly have written the query to fetch data from header table now after that we need to write the query to fetch data from item table but before writing the query we studied one of the most most important concept that whenever you are fetching data from item table dependent table foreign key table always always check for size of rc condition size of rc means your previous query is successful or not if size of rc is zero only in that case fetch data from dependent table or foreign key tables or item tables same to same thing you can check by is not initial condition also if you are this internal table is not initial it means this query return the successful result that's why internal table is not initial is not initial means is not null is not blank is not empty if this query is not processed successfully it means internal table is initial internal table is blank internal table is empty so you can write the if condition by any of the ways it is totally totally your wish now in the next video we will write the second query to fetch data from item table so that's it in this video. Thank you.